gear. Huh? You barely put this in the gear and it's ready to want to go. You better make sure your hat doesn't fly off. Yeah, I'm gonna watch your hat too, Dad. Same side of the boat. I had this daggone rocking like no other, didn't it? Well, that's a good sign, anyways. And the grass on the Ned rig. Good job. <laughs> Nedry. Hell did. I'm not scum. I'm not. Oh, that's a. What is that? That's a hybrid. I don't think I had my drag stick quite right before. Oh, God. There we go. There we go. That was a fighter. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's get back out there. Let's crank up another one. Oh my God. 
No way. Golly. No, I want no small mouth. Hybrid. Hybrid. Ah, oh, yeah. back up in that grass and I was pulling it out of it and it hit it. It was a weird box. Uh, it kind of had me confused a little bit. That's pretty good. Let your rod tip down when they jump. guys as you can probably already tell uh we're back at the house today really wasn't quite the day we were hoping for but you know it's all right because uh god bless us with another day to do something that we like to do which is fishing as you can probably tell uh but really the main reason 
for the last two fishing trips is just to get the boat out. This new boat that my uncle bought here. You know, break it in a little bit. First time out on the water since he's got it. And uh, why my uncle is so great is because he's decided to uh, leave the boat at our house for us to use often, you know, however much we want. So pretty much, uh, I know we didn't catch many fish today, but I'm making this video pretty much to say thank you to my Uncle Homer for everything he does, because he's a big fan and he supports me and my dad a lot in our fishing and does a lot of stuff for us. And I know he's watching this too. But that's not the end of the video. Uh, I got one more thing I'm wanting to show y'all, so just stay tuned. All right, so what I was wanting to show you guys is that if you trap minnows and you try to keep bait alive or whatever and uh if you have like a pond or anything just kind of throw them in uh we kind of came up with this little way to uh keep you know your bait fish your minnows whatever you catch and trap in creeks and stuff and what we got here is like just a little uh thing to keep your laundry in pretty much it's got like this wire in it that keeps it you know formed right see in there see where's he at you see that little shad right there it works pretty good keeps them pretty good and alive which that's the only one i've got in it but i'm about to go and check my traps here and see if i i have hopefully a bunch of minnows we got the uh first trap out of the creek here as you can see in there, we got us three pretty good crawdads, so uh, we're going to keep these two, throw them in the little cage, and well, I'm hoping they'll stay alive, which I think they will, because crawdads are really hard to kill. But uh, we're going to use these things as bait, too. You can catch good bass on some crawdads. It's like candy for them. Let go of that cage. There we go. All right. Here's our first one. Put him in the bucket here. Uh, let's get this. Uh, there's a pretty good size one in here too. I can get a hold of him here. I don't want to get a hold of his pincher, that's for sure. Ah, oh, gosh, got me. <laughs> Man's a little sucker. That's what that is. Uh oh, I'm fighting. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Got a hold of him. All right. Just don't kill each other. All right. There's that trap. Just gonna. We'll put some more bait on it later. All right. So we're back here at the pond now. Two of the crawdads. I'm gonna toss them in there. Get this third one out here. There he is. like that all right guys that's all for today's video i uh, hope you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe to my channel what are you doing out <laughs>